Whether it's a hip or knee replacement, a pump or pacemaker, millions of Americans have some sort of medical device implanted in their bodies. But for a year, for nearly a year, the KV Defenders have shown not all of those devices are safe. And today, a big development in our ongoing medical device dangers investigation from Washington, D.C. A new push to track failed devices has cost taxpayers billions. Here's investigator Terry Gruca. Your car has one, your phone, even your computer. Identification numbers help track information on all kinds of devices. But it wasn't until 2013 that unique device identifiers, or UDIs, were even required for medical devices. The FDA has taken years to roll out this system, and it's not complete yet. Congressman Lloyd Doggett and several nonpartisan lawmakers say this problem is costing all of us. An Office of Inspector General report found that over a 10-year period, Medicare paid $1.5 billion to replace seven recalled cardiac devices. Patients paid $140 million. Another problem was locating these devices. Even the manufacturer of uh, some pacemakers was unable to say where 1,700 plus of these pacemakers were because they didn't have a unique identifier number on them. Pacemakers and any implantable, life-supporting, life-sustaining device must now have a UDI. So must spinal cord stimulators like the one that left retired Marine Captain David Wynette paralyzed. It's important to pe for people to realize, you know, that there are, can be some serious consequences to these sorts of uh, uh, procedures. For physicians, for patients, this is a simple way to assure that there is transparency, that we know what is being done with these medical devices, which can provide great benefit. But as we've seen through the KVU investigation, can cause great harm to people when they are defective. Lawmakers want UDIs included on medical and insurance forms and want hospitals to report those numbers to the FDA when surgery is required to remove a device, something that is already required for drugs and vaccines. Making sure patients have access to that information will be key. Anything and everything that can be done to inform the patients, and, and more importantly, and, and equally as important, is to inform the uh, Food and Drug Administration. Currently, only 2.3 million medical devices have UDIs, and it doesn't do much good if you can't connect the problems with them. So I did a quick search today, and when you use this site, you find out it is not user-friendly. You click here to find the device history, but when you download the file, it looks like this. You pretty much need to be a researcher to read it. That's something the FDA will have to address if they want to prove to consumers that they are being transparent about medical devices. For the KV Defenders, I'm Terry Gruca. And to read more of our reports about medical device issues, just go to kvu.com slash medical device dangers.